Hello YouTube, this is Black Burning Ice. Today I will be showing you some of my most favorite and some of the most useful to me uh, programs that I have on my iPod. All of this is through Cydia, right there. And first off, we are going. First off, I want to talk to you about categories. Basically, what this application is is going to here. If you remember from my previous tutorial that I uploaded with this video, um, I, you can see that my icons are still kind of flipped. That's one of the glitches. I cannot reflip them unless I respring my springboard. Okay, back to this. Basically here, you, c you can organize all your stuff into folders. Like, I have games organized in here. Doom, Quake, all my other stuff. And you can add whenever you want. And then I have emulators such as uh, um, PlayStation and stuff like that. Then I have other stuff. Um, just because I access my folder, I will have to respring my iPod now. Okay, I just resprung my springboard. And now all my icons are back to normal. See here, I have my folders. I can go into my game folder. Here's all my stuff. The next thing I'm going to talk about is Dtunes. Basically what this is, is a variant of iTunes. Except for in this one, you can download free music, torrents, and stuff like that. As you can see here you have media player where you can play your songs, torrents, then search what are, um, the website and under settings you get to choose what website you get music from, what video what where you get videos. Um actually I have not seen that. I think that might be an update then where you can get torrents. So that is also useful. Like it says here, well I'm not sure if this is a pre-installed community source, but if you want to get this, you're going to have to have you're gonna have to go into Cydia right there. Go under manage sources and add this source that is highlighted right here. And then just search DTunes and download it. Okay, next thing I want to talk about is installers. Basically, this is used for cracked applications. Say you want to get something from the app um, from the app store, and you say, "Oh no, I cannot afford this because it is like ten dollars." I'm going to use well Assassin's Creed as an example, which it is ten dollars. So you just search whatever you want as you would in the app store. There you go. Assassin's Creed. Price is ten dollars. But if you scroll down, you can get it for free. You just go with the latest version and you choose one of the websites. There's iPod friendly websites. There's other links. If none of the friendly I, uh, friendly websites work, then just use one of the other links. Currently I do not have this on my iPod because none of the links will download correctly for me. So if you want to get that, you will need to add this source right here. Same way that you would add any source. Cydia.hackulo.us Okay, the rest of the things I'm going to be showing you are pre-installed sources. First one is Lockdown. This one is very useful. There goes my springboard again. Um, basically what Lockdown is, is you can lock any application that you want. Individually without actually having to lock your entire iPod. 
So here you would enter your password, which I am not going, which I'm not going to do, because you can actually see everything I'd be typing. As you can see in the background, you see App Store, App Backup, Blue Skies. All you have to do is click on one of those, type in what um, you can, and then it asks you for selected um, lock or unlock. Select that, and then respring your iPod. And every time you start up the application, this little screen right here that says enter your password will pop up, and you have to enter your password. This can be as long as you want. It is not the normal four pin thing. So there you have that. Next is MX2. This is a very useful tool. It is YouTube. Only say you're watching a video and you really like it, you can download it. I have some videos of my own. Jeff Dunham, Jonas Brothers suck, because they do. And basically just search it like YouTube. You can watch the video, then you can choose to download the video. Or just watch the video and use it as your YouTube um, replacement. And finally, SBC settings. This is um, a handy tool for oops, power options and stuff like that. All you have to do is hold your finger down like at wherever the time is. Hold on. There you go. You can select your brightness. You can look at pro whatever processes are running. Toggle SSH on or off. Wi-Fi. Settings. Refresh. I'm not sure what that does. Dock. I'm not sure what that does either. Respring. And power. As you can see, it also has the IP address. This is a static IP address, so... Yeah, you can't really hack me with this. Sorry about that. For all you hackers. Then it shows how much space you have free. This is a complete lie right here though. Because, first off, I have a 16 gig iPod and a lot more free space than that. And it also shows how much available RAM you have. That is it. If you want me to make any more tutorials on any application or Maybe you're searching for an application that can do a certain thing. I might be able to find something like that and give you a tutorial on. Thank you, and thanks for watching.